hey guys welcome back so in this lecture we're going to see how to install app through your command prompt okay so to do this first of all you have to open your emulator so make sure your emulator is open like that okay and then go to um, your platform tools it should be already created a if you remember at the very beginning the setups right we, we create a global variable so also that time we add your uh, platform tools root directory path on your uh, through your global variable so but still you know you can go through manually so this is following the Windows machine so in my Windows machine so if you go your C then user your username then app data you're supposed to know it but I'm just showing once again and then local and and then Android then SDK and then over here you will see platform tools okay so go there and from there you know this is your directory for your platform tools so you need to open your command prompt so you can just open your command prompt and then you can go to did this root directory like using cd and then uh, place this root directory or from here directly you can just you know type cmd cmd you know your command uh, your uh, terminal or your command prompt will open with this root directory so you are right now you can see in the platform tools okay now find the you know the place where you have your your app is uh, you know downloaded somewhere on your system right somewhere so example for me I have over here right it's uh, I have three apps over here you can see there is an app so in our previous lecture we use this API demo this one this is the APK file for Android and this time we're going to install we're going to use this one for our upcoming lecture so to do this I have to install this app in my emulator you know so one traditional way that you know you can run through your uh, script like if you see our uh, the beginning uh, tutorial you know that how to do this but this is the shortcut way that you can install your app on your emulator through the command prompt okay so in this case we're going to install this one like uh, general store this one okay to do this you need also root directory for this where this uh, this is store you know this app is downloaded on your system so copy your you know a directory path and then over here you know the type install adb adb then install and then you know place this you know the root directory where the app is located then make sure you call you include the app so what's the app name exactly the same way you are going to type okay let me make it a little bit bigger and let's see I can make it bigger too okay sorry so here you're going to type the what's the app name app name is general exactly exactly the same way you have to type a general dash store store dot apk dot apk okay so adb install right so hit enter you can say it's a performing stream install successful okay success is a, it's a, it should have install you know this uh, app on your emulator so let's go back to our, our emulator minimize those guys let's see There you go. You can see this is the API demo, the older one. Here is a new one. You can see generally store. So let's double click, open it. Okay, so it's opening. So this is the newer, you know, the app that we're going to install and we're going to I mean it's already installed we're going to work on this in our upcoming all the lectures because this app it is it is a hybrid app 
so it will get some different scenarios to for the hybrid you know uh, test cases like if your app is a hybrid that time how you are going to handle different scenarios so that's why this app and it is also an e-commerce app so if you see this like you know over here so this is like the beginning you have to do some sort of like a restoration this is some you know doing some practice over here you can select a drop down option select the country uh, okay and then and then you can put a name you know so this is a practice like you know how we can enter uh, in a text field and then you can select it is a radio button option right male female so and after that you can select let's shop and then Test, okay, let me. So click on less shop. I'm just giving you a little bit high level overview about the app. And then, you know, over here, there is a, the, the product list over here. So you can, you know, select, you can see over here, add to card. So you can click on over here, add to card, so it will be add to card you can do a scroll down okay so you can so this will be another the gesture the scroll gesture use case so you can add this one then click on the card and then you can see you know uh, the, the two selected item that you add you recently added to your card it is showing over here it shows you can do some validations like the total amount is that a total amount if you add these two individually the amount it should make sure that it's showing there and then you know there is a pop-up uh, there is a uh, the checkbox options select email and then you know you can if you just uh, there's a terms and condition over here if you long press if you just long press there it will show you the terms and conditions so that's another uh, gesture use case about the long press right and then if you click on the visit the website to the complete purchase click on there now if you click there it will take to the you will see the Chrome on the browser so this is let it go so it will redirect you to the browser you can see it, it is taking you to the Google just you know there's nothing special browser but it is a browser so this is the browser view so you see this is called hybrid app so when you have a scenario combination of scenarios of native behavior as well as the browser behavior so that time this is called a hybrid app and you know hybrid app to test the hybrid app it's a little bit tricky than regular native app uh, because you have a two different web view, uh, view right so you have a two different frameworks one is a native framework another one is uh, the browser frameworks so you have to back and forth if you want to do something on your on your uh, uh, web view so you have to switch uh, from your native view to the web view and then again you have to when you have done the testing over here you have to get back to your native view so this is a you know you have to switch around between is uh, two different you know framework so this is not it's a little bit tricky but it's doable it's not that you know, challenging it's okay we can do it so we'll see that in our upcoming lecture in you know, all these different scenarios how to uh, how to handle and this is a perfect app to do a uh, practice in regards to handle a hybrid application okay so stay tuned you know watch the upcoming lectures uh, have a good one bye bye